So is it Sasquatch or Chewbacca? Write your comments below. Tell me what you think. It's about 8.30 in the morning here in Odessa, Ukraine. I'm headed out to get some breakfast, get some eggs, some coffee, do some work online, and then see what the day has to offer. arrived and a nice omelet here almost looks like a smiley face on it that makes me happy it was very hot out today in Odessa I think it must be 30 degrees Celsius I'm not sure exactly what that is in Fahrenheit but it feels like probably 90 degrees with high humidity and really uncomfortable so I finally had to break out the tank top here and my hat sunglasses and be all equipped and I'm gonna head out and wander for a little little bit maybe get some lunch and then come back when it's really hot and get inside in front of the fan and the AC and take it out that's my bus for the bus here was five of the local Ukrainian money, Zagreb or however you pronounce it, which is about 20 cents. Pretty good deal. Big set of steps up here and lots of people. I'm gonna wander up there, see what's at the top. 192 steps. Such fun. Almost there. Near the top. Okay, a minute to the top. Gonna catch my breath. Really, really, really hot today in Odessa. I don't know what the temperature is. 90, 95, 30, 35, 40. It's, it's something pretty high. Up ahead here is the famous opera house in Odessa. It's ranked number two in all of Europe. Front doors to the opera house. And right in front of the opera house, we have 1970s American Cadillac in Ukraine. Apparently, I love that word apparently, ever since seeing that video with the little kid, the word apparently is just something that's crept into my vocabulary. Apparently sometimes I don't watch the, sh I don't watch the news because I'm a kid and apparently every time, apparently grandpa just gives me the remote after we watch the Powerball. Apparently in Odessa, Ukraine, oranges are a big deal. I think they were some sort of a major thing in the economy and trade uh, early on in the foundation of Odessa as a, a major trade capital. But uh, they have an interesting monument here to the orange. It's sort of a fantasy kids kind of thing. Really fun. I mentioned it's hot, really hot here in Odessa. is a famous bridge here and apparently it's known because the length of it it spans so far without support in the middle that if you jump up and down the entire bridge will move sure enough the entire structure the entire bridge will shake if you jump up and down did I mention it's hot here? Really hot. Did I mention it's hot out? I think I need to get some water. So the question is, with gas or without gas? It's always a mystery. Escaped 
from the heat. I have my water bottle and now I'm in a shopping mall. I have air conditioning. I'm going to find a bite to eat, get some lunch, relax, try to cool off, and then figure out how to get back to the hostel. So buy basically soup, two plates of food, and it's pretty great. It's 6.42 in the evening here, and it is still really, really hot. Um, it's humid, hot, sticky, a little bit cooler than before, but not much. I to take a short walk, get out of the hostel, and walk down to the beach. It's about 15 minutes from my hostel. So, here's the beach in Odessa. Looks like it's a fairly popular place in mid-August. really one beach that is uh, a major tourist attraction for not only the international tourists but the local Ukrainians. If they want a place to go on the weekends, Odessa is the place to go. And as you can see, it's a Saturday evening here on the weekend and the beach is just full of people. It's 7.30 and it's still hot and sticky and humid. And I think even taking a shower is not going to help but I'm leaving Odessa tomorrow, so hopefully the weather will be better in the next location. I seem to have a problem with some of the doors here in Ukraine, with the height of the door. It's not quite tall enough for me. I think I've smacked my head on this door at least four times, five times since I've been here going out the door. You have to be careful sometimes when you travel.